For all the parents out there, picture that it's bedtime. You and the kids have been busy all day. You know they're tired, but for some reason, they just won't go to sleep. And for this reason, I created the podcast Bedtime History. Bedtime History is a series of relaxing history stories that end with an inspirational message. With over 2,000 positive parent reviews, Bedtime History is one of the top education podcasts. Join me and listen to Bedtime History every Monday and Thursday on iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Right now, I need to make sure that you're following our Instagram page, which is where I show videos of all these critters, and we have a lot of fun over there. So, right now, ask your parents to head on over to Instagram for Kids Animal Stories. The link is down in the show notes below. I will see you there. Are you guys ready to see what happens with Ted and Axel after this heron has tried to eat Ted? Let's find out. Let's go. Last time, as Ted and Axel had just begun playing their game of hide and seek, a giant heron uh, came to interrupt their game for an afternoon snack. Swim, Ted, swim, shouted Axel as loud as he could underwater. Ted the tadpole was very fast, so he was zooming underneath lily pads left and right. Zoom, zoom, zoom. He was almost like a race car underneath water. But no matter how quickly Ted the tadpole could swim, the heron was following close behind and all of a sudden trapped him underneath two lily pads. Axel! Run for it! I'm a gutter! Save yourself! Shouted Ted. Axel felt something strange inside, almost like a tingly feeling that... And he knew that he couldn't let his friend get eaten by that ginormous bird. I'm coming, Ted! Hang on! Shouted Axel. He started rolling around in the water to create a distraction for that heron to look at. He was splitching and splashing and throwing that water all over the place with his tail to try and get the heron to turn away and look towards him. And it worked very well. (laughs) Instantly, the heron forgot about Ted, that tiny little tadpole, and wanted to eat that ginormous axolotl that was flopping around in the water. The heron turned and started chasing Axel, allowing Ted the tadpole to escape. Amidst of all of this, a thunderstorm erupted, which increased the amount of chaos that was going on in this pond. Not only was there a heron chasing around Axel and Ted, but there was now a crashing thunderstorm with pouring rain covering the pond. All this chaos caused the water to become very cloudy, and a lot harder to see where in the world they were. Because of that, Axel was now trapped in the corner of the pond with nowhere to go. He knew this was the end, but he was happy that he was able to save his friend Ted. With nowhere to go, Axel closed his eyes as he felt the heron's mouth pick him up out of the water. Oh, oh no, shouted Axel as the heron held this axolotl in his mouth. He tossed it high up in the air and opened his mouth. When all of a sudden, a ginormous lightning bolt came crashing down right next to them. Crash! Boom! It stunned the heron, who was a little confused and and flew off. As Ted the tadpole swam over to check and see, he could see Axel's tail dangling out of the heron's mouth, and Ted was very sad. Ted, I'm over here! Ted the tadpole turned around, and there was Axel! (gasps) How are you alive? I watched the heron grab you, and I saw him... Oh, dear. Your tail is all gone! How'd that happen? Oh, it's okay. Remember how my toe came off earlier and it grew back? 
Well, my tail's gonna grow back soon anyway. It, it's not a big deal. It's it's how I get away from predators like that giant heron. Ted the tadpole couldn't believe it. He did not have that kind of superpower where his legs could grow back if they came off. But Ted also noticed something else different about Axel. He said, Axel, you're glowing. How is that possible? Axel looked down at his arms and sure enough, he was actually glowing. Well, this is a new one, laughed Axel. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's from the lightning because the lightning, I think it kind of struck down and hit me and the bird and the tree over there and it definitely gave me the tingles, but it, I think it helped me get away too. All Ted the tadpole could do was shake his head. He was just in shock of what all just happened, but was now completely convinced that his best friend Axel was some kind of legendary superhero. Over the next couple days, Ted kept growing. His arms and legs were now big enough for Ted to crawl out of the water and hop around. His tail was almost completely gone. Axel, the axolotl, he has grown much bigger too, and his tail is almost grown completely back after the heron stole his, uh, his first tail. <laughs> but even though Axel is getting much bigger, he's actually not going to go on to land like Ted the Tadpole. Now, Ted the Tadpole is actually now Ted the Toad, and Axel is still the axolotl who lives in the water. Ted was a little bit sad that they weren't going to be able to live in the same place, but they would still go on to be forever friends. Have you ever had a friend that moved away? Yeah, that can feel kind of sad, or maybe you moved away from a friend. That can be sad, but the good thing about friends is that you can always be friends, even if you don't live close by anymore. You can maybe call them on the phone or do a video call and hang out or even go and visit them. And that is how Ted and Axel remained best friends. Even though they didn't live in the same neighborhood anymore, they would still play together as much as they could. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And holy smokes, you have got to see a picture of an axolotl. So go down in the show notes below and click that link for activities for kids. And there's going to be an awesome activity for you to do from today's episode. And that axolotl is an amazing creature that maybe it is kind of like a superhero. Because they can do some pretty amazing things that we saw firsthand in today's story. Well, friends, I hope you have a super duper day <laughs> and I will see you on our next dead animal adventure. <laughs> Bye. For all the parents out there, picture that it's bedtime. You and the kids have been busy all day. You know they're tired, but for some reason, they just won't go to sleep. And for this reason, I created the podcast Bedtime History. Bedtime History is a series of relaxing history stories that end with an inspirational message. With over 2,000 positive parent reviews, Bedtime History is one of the top education podcasts. Join me and listen to Bedtime History every Monday and Thursday on iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.